Hello everyone and welcome back to this next lecture. So in the previous lecture we had installed Code Composer Studio and we had also installed some Blackhawk files which are basically related to the Blackhawk emulator. Now usually we do not use the Blackhawk emulator but these files are still useful to have because quite often you will find yourself using or at least not quite often in many cases Sometimes if you're working in a company especially, you do have access to a Blackhawk emulator and this Blackhawk emulator does give you some fairly useful functionalities. So it's not a bad idea to install these Blackhawk files. But the main file is the Code Composer Studio. Now it's very important that after installing the Code Composer Studio, you should restart your computer. I have already restarted my computer, not to mention the fact I've restarted, I'm actually making this video the next day. So this computer has been restarted several times. It's very important to restart a computer after doing this installation because this installation installs some drivers. Many drivers can be detected on the fly by the operating system. But there are some drivers that are detected only at the time of boot. Which is why when you install a software like Code Composer Studio that installs drivers, it's a good idea to reboot your system so that these drivers are recognized. Right. Now, I'm not going to start Code Composer Studio right away because in this lecture, we're going to talk about the control suite. So, let me go over here again and type ti control suite. Okay, I get these. Oh no, I don't want to register. Sorry. Okay, change it to English. Sorry, I'm Germany, so I get these by default in German. And here is Control Suite. Now, Control Suite is an entire package which includes helper files and functions that make your life much easier if you are programming with any TI microcontroller. Now, I'll be honest with you, I have never ever ever used the code TI Code Composer Studio without Control Suite. So, if you are going to ask the question, can you do, can you not install Control Suite? Probably, you might still be able to program a microcontroller with just Code Composer Studio. Matter of fact, you probably don't even need Code Composer Studio. You can somehow find a way to download your code onto the microcontroller using some other command line interface. However, these are all not recommended for a new programmer. If you are a new programmer, it is always advisable to use these packages as it makes your life much easier because in the beginning you not only have to understand how to program, you also have to understand the concepts behind microcontroller programming. So please do go and install this. Now go ahead and read it if you want. It has a lot of files and we will go through those files gradually. So I just go to downloads and as usual. There is an offline installer and there is a web installer, right? Now, this one, however, as you can see, it requires an export approval, all right? This is probably because this file contains a lot of detailed examples and therefore, by maybe the US government or some other government, it does require some approval to be able to download this. So, click on this and you will have to log in to your Texas Instruments account. So this is where it takes you, all right? Now, I don't really know whether it's possible to get this without registration, but since this is happening and it's probably controlled by the US government law, I would still suggest that you create an account if you don't have one. So go ahead and create. I do have an account. So you can register. As far as I know, you do not need to be actually required with any company or university. I use my Gmail account, right? So for example, you can look at the my TI fact, you can learn, look at the privacy policy, you can look at the terms of use. You need an email. This email does not have to be a corporate email or does not have to be a university email. It can be a Gmail. I use my Gmail account. You have a password and you have to select your region, right? 
Now I am in Germany, it detects it automatically. You will have to also give your postal code. So go ahead and do this if you have not done it. In my case, I'm just going to log in. So I have already logged in and when you log in, you will come to this page where it will say that there are certain things you where you cannot use. Why? Because this is controlled by the US Commerce Department. There are certain countries which unfortunately cannot use it. So if you are in any of these, I don't know how you're going to download this. Uh, also, you will not use it for certain, certain, uh, well, activities such as building nuclear chemical and so on and so forth. And that of course, you will not export this without any other restrictions, right? So I'm just going to click on yes and submit it. And now you have been approved to receive this file. So I'm going to click on download. So again, this is a very large file. So look at it. It is a 2 GB file. So I will once again pause the video and come back when it is done. So the download is finally complete. And as usual in my computer, they usually get downloaded into the downloads folder in C drive. But as I've already said, my C drive is fairly full because this is mainly a Linux computer and I have shrunk my C drive to the bare minimum. So I have moved this downloaded software to my F drive in DSP software and DI, right? Where I had also downloaded the installer for Code Composer Studio. Now again, this does not have to be done by you. You can do it from wherever you want. But what's important, I'm just giving you an idea that I am doing, you have to extract this file and make sure you know where it is. So I'm going to extract it. So the extraction is finally complete. I just fast forwarded through the video because there's no point in just showing you that it's how it's been done. So let me just close this additional file and let me go back to this folder. So now I have this extracted folder. So in the extracted folder, there are two bin files. This is not for us to use. This is the application we'll use it when we install it. To install the application, we choose control suite, this setup file. This is an application file. So I'm going to click on it. And since it's performing an installation and since this is not a native Windows application, it will show this pop up. I'm going to say yes, because I do want to install it. And this installation will also be quite large, right? So again, go ahead, next, accept the agreement. And here, the default directory where it will install control suite is C drive. Now, in my case, I do not want this for the simple reason, as I said, my C drive is full or rather is has very limited space, which is why I'm going to move this control suite directory to my F drive where I already have my code composer studio. So let me just click on browse, go to F drive and let me just click on CCS because I can just put it within that. And I just click on next and you can see this is the amount of space is needed at least 5 GB of space, which is one of the reasons why I don't want to put it on my C drive. So yeah, I do want to continue. So this again will take a good amount of time. So I will pause this video and come back when it is done. So, see you soon. So the installation is finally complete. In my system, it took close to a half an hour, but like I said already, my laptop's pretty old and my Windows system is also a bit of a mess. So in your system, it might take a little lesser if you have a better laptop and if you have a more up-to-date Windows system. So with this, I'm going to click on finish. It will launch Control Suite. But we are not going to use control suite in the typical manner in which it can be used.
right and i will show you how we're going to use it very soon but in this video i will end this soon the idea is basically to show you that control suite does bring in a lot of useful files and those files are what we're going to use so we just wait for this to launch in case you want to use it in this course i won't use it the way it has been presented So you can see this is also a resource explorer. So it's like you can look for various resources on different kind of devices, applications, all kinds of stuff. So it's essentially an entire help on your local system. That is the main advantage. And you have a lot of example projects. You have a lot of things. So if you want to do, if you want to check it out, please do so. However, what I'm going to do is I'm going to close this down. And since this lecture has already gotten pretty long, I will end it here because the main intention of this lecture was to be able to download Control Suite and install it. Now, as before, as I already said, in this lecture, I or rather, rather in this course, I am not too bothered about the terms and conditions of downloading Control Suite because this course is largely about teaching microcontroller programming. All right. I'm not building a product. I'm not trying to export a product and I'm living in Germany which is not one of the controlled countries according to the US exports agreement. If you want to continue using control suite, suite rather control suite for your own research projects or for building a product, then I would suggest take another look at the terms and conditions, take another look at the fine print, because if you're building a product or you're using it for research purposes, you would have to look into the actual clauses of the US export control agreement. This course, I don't really care because I'm just teaching microcontroller programming. But depending on your application, please do read the fine print, right? This course, because I'm using in this course does not mean that you are free to use it for whatever reason you want. This is not a free and open source software. This is controlled by certain laws of the United States of America. And you should be at least knowledgeable of what those laws are and what can and cannot be used. Right. So with that, I'm going to end this lecture. In the next lecture, I will show you about the files that have been installed by Control Suite and what that means. If any of this did not work or you have any other questions, by all means, please post in the Q&A forum and I will try to help you out. Otherwise, I will see you in the next lecture. Thank you so much and see you soon. Goodbye for now.